These trees actually go down to the key that they have a very complex root system. Looks a lot like a spider web, traps a lot of sediment, and they help hold the island together. Now the trees are also fresh water trees, but look out in the ocean, they're growing just fine. But look at all the yellow leaves they have on them. Those leaves are called sacrificial leaves. One of these plants that just saw this route through the leaves, they dive on them, build a little more island every day. Oahu, Hawaii has number one, over three acres. Fort Myers, Florida has number two, and Tom says the same to this one here. That the largest in the world is in Calcutta. That was our Ford dealership. They lived upstairs of it for two years until they got the house on White. That was their first home in Key West, we're right there. Now we're gonna make our way to the seaport. Now, this was the 1960s and it was dark out. I'll tell you folks, don't come down to this part of town, it's too dangerous. It was our commercial seaport back in, a lot of fishermen here. Now the submarine base on the island, there's a lot of sailors down here at night also. And well, those two groups, well, they didn't like each other very much. So we decided to add alcohol to the mix and see what would happen. What happened was a bar, we called it the Red Doors Inn. So rough and tough that if you come there at night, the first thing we would ask you is, do you have a weapon? Now if you told us no, well then we just give you one to keep those fights fair. But the locals had a different name for the Red Doors to my right, we called it the Bucket of Blood. But gentlemen, gentlemen, it's still just as dangerous today, because look, now it's a woman's boutique. That house is over 130 years old. That is called Dade County Pine, one of the best hardwoods in the world, because it resists rot, warp, and discoloration. And folks, in Florida, we harvested that tree to extinction. There's no longer any Dade County Pine trees around. And we're going to a speakeasy. Met a man there named Joe Russell. Later became Sloppy Joe Russell. The two men from a friendship that lasted a lifetime. That's what Ernest and Pauline made us their home. Now remember, according to the house here on White, if you've seen a few minutes, they lived at that port dealership I showed you for over two years. Even the name Sloppy Joe Barr, Ernest's idea. Ernest Hemingway, Joe Russell, and their good friend Joe Kennedy used to go to Havana, Cuba all the time to bring booze back to the States. Guess what the name of their favorite bar in Havana, Cuba is, folks? Sloppy Joe's. That's what the name came from. Now, prohibition was lifted. Ernest was talking to Joe Russell one day, and he couldn't think of a name for his bar. And he says, why heck, why don't you just call it Sloppy Joe's? That way they're with the Havana bar favorite bar any longer. Of course, folks, you didn't use the word heck, but this is a PG port. We'll have seafood festivals, art festivals, and also during the wintertime, uh, every other Friday night, we're going to start having our free movies here at night, which is a lot of fun. But there's a lot of memorials at this part, too. A memorial to every battle war the United States has been in, except the American Revolutionary War. 90 miles to Cuba, 85 miles further south of Brownsville, Texas. And yes, right now, folks, you are 125 miles from your nearest Walmart. <laughs>